I am so lucky that I have all these parts here and uh, some of it is uh, something I recently got but uh, a lot of it is things I had laying around from stripping it out of other guitars. This is an older body with poly uh, finish and the thing with this body here, if I can get rid of all this uh, mess, is, uh, is humbuckers. So I have uh, this plate also, something I had laying around, and uh, the guitar is uh, rooted for, for humbuckers. These are really, um, came off uh, Gibson, um, I just bought them used, so they came off uh, Gibson um, Les Paul, it's Burstbuckers uh, 1 and 2, and I like that the covers are uh, aged, it's nickel covers, I, I like that appeals to me and they fit uh, nicely in this pickguard so it looks good me thinks uh, so they will fit perfect here i guess and uh, yeah I'm not sure about the knobs but i have these uh, three black ones could be a good match uh, i have a this also was something I had laying around as a uh, three-way um, switch. I said it's humbuckers. We have the neck position, the middle and the bridge position. So it should be perfect for that. This is a very good neck. It's something I've had for years. And uh, it's not a fender. It's just I, <laughs> I made a decal of my uh, nickname. Uh, which is uh, Thali. I have this uh, cool uh, tram. It's a vintage. Uh, oh, let me get it out. It's a vintage um, Strat tram, uh, very aged also, and it has uh, a very good solid um, block. It's important that it, the block is uh, full like this. I'll try to show you one that isn't. Uh, this block here, uh, tram block, you can see it's half. It's uh, taken off something. Uh, and this is a sh cheaper one. That this, These full blocks here have a better sustain. It makes sense. It's more metal. I'm not sure why they do that, if it's uh, cost savings or I can't really see the point of this. Jack plate of course and um, so I also have this uh, jack uh, output or input, it's both probably, uh, which will go uh, in, in that and in here. Um, and I have some screws here that will probably hopefully fit the neck plate. I have some uh, pot meters, they are of the small type, but I'm not sure if that will make a big difference in, in tone. Maybe you can tell me if you know. Um, they are 500k because it's humbucker, so I would like to go with 500k value on, on those. So the tuners here are uh, good uh, vintage style fender tuners. As far as I can see, I have what I need. So uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, hopefully uh, by the end of the day I have a cool sounding Strat with humbuckers. I've never had that so I'm pretty excited to hear how it goes and I, I think that these uh, Gibson Burstbuckers will uh, work very well with this guitar. So my concerns are about uh, making the electronics work. So I have to find a good uh, wiring diagram. I'll get working. Here is the pickguard uh, loaded. What I read on the net is that uh, the burst bucket too is uh, good to have in the bridge. So I put that there and that leaves the burst bucket one in the neck position. I have uh, installed the switch and the uh, pot meters. So I've printed this one out. This is a wiring diagram coming from Seymour Duncan's website. It's a very good uh, source of uh, those uh, diagrams if you ever need one. So this is the one I'll go for. This is the 50s style of wiring. 
Yeah, I think I have all that is needed to, to do this. So I won't bore you with the soldering and stuff and because and uh, then you'll also see how sloppy I am with my work. So I'll just fast forward to the next stage of the assembling. I've soldered most of the things I need to solder now according to this form here. Now uh, I'll uh, attach the jack and I will ground it to the claw. Here we go. I think that should do it. Just secure this. Turn it around. There you go. I need to get that claw secured. I found a couple of screws that fits for the claw. I think they are the right kind. So they will go in here. They are already pre-drilled this hole because there has been one uh, installed previously. So hopefully that won't cost me too much effort to get these long screws in place. You know, these, uh, if you haven't done this before, these screws are more or less controlling the tension on the tram system. So. Uh, when you push this, this further back, uh, the tram comes on the other side like this and comes up here. Um, and the springs will go in between uh, like this and connect the fasten to that one. And the further you press it back, the, the tighter this uh, block will uh, get in, uh, towards this one. With this one, it's really how you... Um, adjust the tension of your tram system. Yeah, so I'll just go with the starting position and then I'll have to adjust it a bit to and from to, to come to the right uh, place for it. So I roughen up this uh, surface a bit for the solder to stick better to it. Looks a bit Amateur to me, uh, it feels very firm, so I hope I think it will hold. Okay, let's move on. So everything should be soldered in place now. I have um, fits right in here, and now I mount this one. Uh, attach the springs, screw it tight. With, uh, I think these are the screws that are supposed to be here. So there are six, this is kind with six screws. So I'll just tighten these and um, attach the springs and then the neck. Okay, so I've uh, fastened these uh, screws on the trim. Uh, and what you should uh, consider is that you don't tighten them too hard when you uh, use them because you need this to have a room to move. So if you tighten them too hard, that, that they will keep, uh, they will resist uh, this uh, tram to move up and down. So they shouldn't be too tight. Moment of fruit. Let's uh, test the pickups. Okay, when I have it in the neck position. The, the bridge is not working, so that's good. But uh, in the bridge position, this is still uh, making a sound. And so is this. So the tone is working fine, but um, that one huh, seems to work for that one now. And that <laughs> works for that. Mm. I thought that was supposed to be the neck and that's supposed to be the bridge. Okay, back to the drawing board. I have to uh, redo that one. I can't have it like that. So, um, not happy. For me, these things are really a nightmare to figure out, but uh, it seems like uh, the culprit this time was uh, the connection. There was a connection. Uh, between that lug and that one and that's not supposed to be I think I might have spilled some solder over so they, there was contact between that lug and that one so if we try it again this should just be the neck pickup 
So, and pulling it over to the bridge. There's sound on, on the bridge pickup now, not on the neck, but on the bridge, yes. So that's correct, and now we should have both. Yeah, and I wonder if the uh, volume now is like this, should be this one, and it's not. Is it this one? No. Okay, so now there's another problem. I can't turn down the volume. Not even if I turn down all the pot meters. Wow. This is strange. This fixed one thing, another problem arises. <laughs> I just have to go in there once again. I've been swearing a bit. So what I did is that I switched the two wires. They switched places. And now it seems to be working as it should. Uh, I expect the neck pickup to be in here. Yes. And that should be the neck pickup's volume. Perfect. Uh, no sound on this one, it's uh, selected there, that's good. Let's test the bridge position, that is the bridge pickup. Sound, no sound on the neck, good. That should be the bridge volume. Ah, perfect. Tone, tone is working. Tone is working, both. That is good. Seems to work. Okay, so I discovered something. That, and that was also my suspicion that uh, the sprayed uh, wires here, they need to be shielded. I have some, uh, some things here. So these uh, tubes uh, could be threaded into, uh, onto the wires to, to protect them. I put uh, these uh, rubber tubes uh, whatever they're called, I put them on the braided wires so they are not uh, causing me any trouble anymore. I need to put in these three beautiful springs, starting with the middle. Uh, like that. And always a bit nervous to snap something. Yes, one. Uh, same for the last one, so I'm, I'm happy with using just uh, three springs. I think that is uh, the way I like the tension to be. Make sure these are seated. And I, I'll have to adjust uh, the tension with these two screws uh, when I put the strings on the guitar. So it will be something like that. And hopefully it will fit. I think it, it's, it has a bit of room to move here, but I'm not sure if it feels very snug inside the pocket. So it is just that it's, it's coming out here. I guess that's uh, how it's supposed to be. And here are the four screws that I have together with the neck plate be like that, turned around. This table is not very good for doing these operations. Should get a better workbench. Uh, let's see if it will fit. I can feel that I'm in the correct place because the screws are Settling into the neck, so I'll just tighten them a bit more. Thing is, with these uh, screwed in necks, I can't really adjust it, uh, the angle of it, this way, uh, before I have strings on it. But then I use the strings as my guide to adjust the angle. Well, this looks to me like a guitar now. We have the tuners in place, the nut was already there, uh, probably also perfectly adjusted. Uh, and we have the pickguard installed. I put some knobs on these. Oh, I see now that 
One of these are a bit taller than the two. <laughs> I might have to fix that. So I think I like to have the 10 straight up like this. I'm not sure if I like the black ones. I think I will find some. Uh... Hey, look what I found. <laughs> There's no limit to what I have in my drawers. If I can get this one off again, I think I'll go with the. Yeah, that, that's better. I think I like that better. But it's a bit too high up, so I need to uh, lower that one. I guess I can just do that by um, putting a washer underneath on the flip side. I'll do that later. So, like that. And hopefully I have two of these tone knobs also. I'm not sure. Let's see what I can find. Yeah. So that's how it's supposed to be. Good. One more. Hopefully I have one more. What do you know? I have... Of course I had one more in my drawers. And there you go. Wrong stating that this is a tone. It's wrong as you have one more volume. Uh, hopefully I've, I'll find that, or if not, I'll just have to order that. I can't have tone on the volume part, that goes without saying. What's left to do now is to string it up and uh, see if the neck needs adjusting. I'm guessing it will. Yeah, probably need to adjust the intonation, action. I have attached strings and there is a few things I need to do. The action is quite high and that uh, comes from uh, I haven't adjusted the, the bridge yet. You can see that it, it's lifted up here so I want it to be more flat against the body and uh, I will have to adjust that from the screws here. Tighten them a bit so it pushes the block uh, closer to the body and that will lead to that this will come down. I would like to have it flush with the body. It's not flush now. Hopefully you can see that. So the action is so high that I am considering putting in a shim on the, in the neck pocket. Um, meaning um, putting in a piece of uh, thin wood or Many times I just go with paper because it's so paper thin adjustment that is needed. To me that is uh, working fine. I can't really hear a difference. I've used paper shims a lot of times and I think it works fine. I'll start with these two screws here and uh, see if I can get this uh, to fit better. I might have to use a bit of force to Tighten these screws and have to check to see. Yeah, it's starting to come down. Uh, I need a couple of rounds more to get it to be perfect. Could also add one more of these springs, I think. But uh, I like the tram bar to f to be softer. So if I put more springs in here, the tram bar will work. You will have to use more force on the tram bar to have get it to work. Okay, that's okay. I think I'll stop there for now and let it uh, sit for a while. It's it's much better. It's not quite uh, as I would like it, but I think I will work on the height adjustment of the strings now. So I'm not quite sure what will be the best order to do this. If I should work on the bridge uh, post's height uh, after I've adjusted the neck. They are a bit high already, so I think I will just uh, lower them a bit before I start adjusting the neck. I need to adjust the pickup heights as well, of course, uh, when the neck is uh, done, when the action is done on the guitar. So it's playable, but um, <laughs> it's uh, way too high action uh, to my taste. Uh, I think I need to uh, work on the neck. See if I can find something to make a, a shim. Maybe I'll have to uh, adjust the truss rod also. 
way to figure out the truss roll if that needs uh, fixing is to put one uh, finger at the first fret and one on the last. And it looks very good. So I don't think the truss rod needs uh, any adjustment here. So, I, but, so it's, uh, I'll put in a shim here. This would be my shim material, just a piece of very thin paper, probably like 80 grams, 70 to 80 grams paper. So I'll start with uh, loosening the neck. Okay, so we have a little bit of uh, room here now. Uh, this not to fit. Something like this. So I want it to be a bit higher at that end, the neck. So it flips, flips it like this. Uh, because now it's it's going like this. I need the, the neck to come a bit up here. Make that happen. I can put something in in this area of the neck pocket. So I made kind of uh, steps to the highest in here, and then it falls out. I think I just take off that. Not sure if I'm able to get that to slide in there. I will also use the opportunity to check the angle of the strings now. Possibly there could be a bit more space here. I think there's a bit more on that side. So I'll try to shift the neck slightly that way. Just pressing it and then I'll secure it with the screws. I think it's okay. Okay, let's uh, tune it up and uh, see. It's a bit better now, the action. The trem is very flush. So it took some... Uh, adjustments from from doing that with the neck as well so we, there's more tension now i guess so it's pulling harder on on the block so this is quite flush now i might loosen it a bit because it looks very hard and i think i have more to go on on the bridge post now so i'll find adjust those and i think we are very close to a perfectly adjusted action Okay, so I won't bore you with these uh, fine adjustments. I'll work a bit on the heights now. So I have my tuner connected to intonate it. What I do is that I first go with the loose string. It wanders a bit, but it's uh, due to the string vibrating. Uh, might have to do with the pickup height is pulling on it. Um, I think I'll adjust the, the height of the pickup a bit down before I do anything more. So you know the pickups are strong magnets, so if the pickup is, is too close to your strings, it might, uh, it might add a pull to the string, so it will vibrate more. Uh, not sure if that's what's happening here, but um, anyways, I have to adjust them a bit down, so I'll just do that now. And then I will carefully press down in the 12th fret, one octave up. And see that I'm pressing as gently as I can because if I push too hard, I can push it, push it up almost a half uh, a tone. So it's a bit sharp, and that means that the, st the string length is too short. I need to lengthen the string a bit. So that's why you have these screws here. So I can, uh, I can pull back this uh, bridge post and then try again, 12th fret. It's a bit sharp, so I need to try and it won't go any further because that's, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that uh, spring is 
so tight now it won't. So I just have to live with this. Um, it's not much, so. We'll have to be good enough. Let's see if you can uh, hear any difference. Good enough for me. It holds tuning. So I'm done. I've uh, assembled a few parts casters over the years and uh, some of them were good and some of them were not so good. The not so good, they are not parts casters any longer, they are just parts. Maybe some of them ended up in this one. To me now it feels uh, like a guitar, a proper guitar. It's, uh, I think it even looks good. I was skeptic about putting humbuckers in a Stratocaster, but I think it looks quite sexy. You agree? It's, uh, I like these uh, pickups with the uh, worn covers. Um, burst buckers, burst buckers one in the neck and burst buckers two in the bridge. Not plugged in, it sings. The neck also feels very good. This is a neck I'm very familiar with because I've had it in one of my other parts casters. I think I bought it on eBay 10 years ago or something like that. It's, uh, so it's been with me for a long time and it's been stable, so it should be a good quality. The frets are very nice. And uh, you can feel that the, uh, the fret ends feels smooth, so it's uh, bound for a good quality, I think. Been steady for that many years. So it's suggested now that the action is super nice, uh, very as I like it. It's pretty low and uh, I, the intonation is about perfect. I think uh, I will have to do it again because I've ordered um, new bridge saddles uh, from Highwood uh, that are hiding the screws so they don't stick up like this because these are uh, bugging me. They are very sharp and uh, I'm touching, touching them all the time. So it's a bit uncomfortable. I'm happy that I got the electronics to, to work finally. And I hope that uh, if you've uh, watched uh, uh, me assembling it and uh, all the troubleshooting I had to do, especially with the electronics, uh, maybe it's useful for you. Hopefully it is.